This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible. Welcome to another edition of Ask the Buffalo. On this episode, we're going to cover everything from the world of technology. We're going to talk about NFC tech. We're going to talk about the iPhone 5. We're going to talk about Apple suing everybody. We're going to talk about video game systems and everything in between. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo, where you can ask me, John Rettinger, anything you want from the world of technology. You can ask me questions one of two ways. Either go check out technobuffalo.com. Once a week, we'll put up a post so you can go ahead and ask your question. Or any time of the day, even if it's four in the morning, you're sitting in bed feeling lonely, you can send a question to me at john 4 lakers on Twitter or at technobuffalo. Use the hashtag AskTheB, and I would check it out. Every week, I'll pick four or five sometimes six if I get super rambly, uh, and we will answer your questions. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first question comes from Hakeem R. Dodd, who asks, what do you think about Apple suing every company? And it appears that Apple is suing just about everyone out there. We put up a joke post on Techno Buffalo saying, who is Apple gonna sue next? Are they gonna sue me because I have an I in my name? Are they gonna sue Apple growers for making a product that looks like their logo? Are they gonna sue the person who took a bite out of their logo? They are suing absolutely everyone. And here's why. Apple is saying, for starters, Samsung's Galaxy Tab 10.1 looks too much like the iPad 2, which yeah, sure they do look alike, but they're tablets. Uh, that'd be equivalent of saying a laptop looks like another laptop. It's a similar form factor. You know, the iPad 2 also looks like the touchpad. And on the same note, doesn't the iPhone 4 look like Droid 2? Or doesn't it look like the HD 7? I mean, they all kind of look alike. They've got screens. Uh, so I don't necessarily buy that so much. Apple's also suing Motorola. I understand protecting your intellectual property. I can wrap my head around that. And I don't think if you read the comments on any <laughs> on any post on Techno Buffalo or elsewhere, it's all Apple's greedy, Apple's greedy, Apple's greedy. I don't think that Apple's greedy. They're trying to protect their intellectual property. Uh, they're going about it completely the wrong way. For a company that values their public image and that values marketing and that PR sort of buzz, Apple is doing an awful job about demolishing that. Certainly you can't argue with their end results. They are, I believe now, by the time you're watching this, the most valuable country in the world with more capital cash reserves than the United States government themselves. So clearly they are sitting on just a giant stockpile of moofla. But are they going about the right way with these lawsuits? Certainly not. Uh, they can't protect everyone from making a tablet. Uh, certainly Microsoft was one of the first companies that sort of put their emphasis behind uh, tablet technology and having a screen that you can interact with the touch is nothing new. Uh, so there are certain sort of intricacies in those patents. I'm not going to get too legal on you. Uh, but do I agree with Apple suing? Certainly I do not. It's putting injunctions against selling the Galaxy Tab 10.1 in Europe uh, and perhaps regionally here in the US. Anytime that there is more competition, the consumers end up winning. It makes companies have to compete to put out better products. Uh, anytime that innovation is being stifled, uh, consumers tend to lose. So I understand the business decision. I understand that protecting intellectual property is important and that they do look alike. So Apple does definitely have a case. I certainly don't agree with it. What do you guys think? And try to leave the fanboyism out. Look at it from objectively, from a business standpoint. You think Apple's got a right to do what they're doing and should they do what they're doing? Tech Guy 10 asks John, what is your favorite video game system? And this is a tough one. I love the PS3 for being able to play Netflix. It's got Voodoo on there. It can play Blu-ray. It can do a ton of awesome stuff and play video games. I love that it can do that. I'm just not a PlayStation guy. I've got a PlayStation downstairs. Uh, right in my big TV and use it as my dedicated Blu-ray player. When it comes to actual gaming, for the Xbox. Uh, that's definitely a personal preference. Whenever anybody asks me what they should buy and if they don't know the answer, I always recommend the PS3. You get a more well-rounded package. You get a better value. But when it comes for me for playing games, I'm an Xbox guy. What do you guys play the most? Kind of curious to hear what you have to say. And are you looking forward to the Wii U? Is the Wii U going to be your favorite console? Or can you tell Nintendo to go take a hike? Our next question has to do with NFC or near field communications. It comes from Jeff Shapiro who asks, hey John, do you think NFC technology will take off and be the main way to buy things in the near or far future? 
Uh, NFC Technologies, as I just mentioned, stands for Near Field Communications, and it's being built into a lot of devices, like the BlackBerry Bold 9000, the Nexus S has it as well. It's a way to transfer information, so you can use that for a lot of different ways. You can transfer information, like on a smart tag, you can put it on the back of your phone, it can launch a website on here. But it can also transfer, say, credit card information. So you're going to your local store, you're walking in, and you want to buy a laptop. You can just wave your phone in front of a sensor or the back of your phone, whatever your NFC radio is, and suddenly you can buy that. And in all honesty, maybe it's a sign of me getting old. That scares the crap out of me. Uh, the fact that someone could steal my phone and just go whoosh, wipe it and suddenly buy something uh, frightens me to the core. Uh, now, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen and it's not coming. It's certainly coming very, very, very fast. Google is really pushing NFC technologies. There's been rumors that Apple's gonna have NFC built into their next iPhone 5. But from a personal standpoint, it frightens me. Who knows what's gonna be out there sort of snooping around trying to get access to my NFC radio. I remember when passports uh, started using RFID tags. There were folks, if you got within, I think it was 10 to 20 feet, could actually uh, scoop out all your information from your RFID tag and your passport. And it just frightens me. I don't know, maybe it's a sign of I, whatever, it scares me. Does it scare you? I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling, but it makes me scared. Curled up in bed at night, shaking. No, don't steal my stuff. I couldn't think of a fun segue to go into this, but I want to take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Audible.com. We keep all the wheels running here at Techno Buffalo. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. They have over 75,000 titles to choose from to download to your iPod, MP3 player, and play it back anywhere, anytime. Like in your car, in the gym, which is where I listen to most of my books. You can choose from books in every genre, including science, fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go to Audible Podcast slash Techno to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, that's audiblepodcast.com slash techno for your free audiobook. I just finished The Rules of Civility by Amor Tolles, T-O-W-L-E-S. It was a really, really interesting, well, listen for me. I listened to it when I was in the car and at the gym. I was able to finish it in about six days. Uh, you can check out that book, whatever book you'd like. Check out our friends at audible.com. Our last question comes from Tanner Lynn, who asked, John, when do you think we're going to see the Nexus Prime? The Nexus Prime in my best Optimus Prime voice is the next flagship in the Nexus line. So we had the Nexus 1 built by HTC, the Nexus S built by Samsung, and this next one's going to be called allegedly the Nexus Prime also being built by Samsung and will be the first phone to be running Android ice cream sandwich. Much like the Nexus S, the first one to run gingerbread, this will finally run the version of Android that unifies the forces. It brings the Empire and it brings the Rebel Alliance and the tablet of the phone world together uh, in a one unified platform. We saw some leaks, actually check out technobuffalo.com earlier this week. Uh, that showed some alleged screenshots from Ice Cream Sandwich. It looks pretty nice, it's slick, it's got sort of a blue theme to it. I'm really excited to see a unification of the platform, certainly fragmentation has been a big, giant deal for Android. I think it's gonna help Android sort of go to that next level of marketplace adoption. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ask the Buffalo. I am your host, John Rettinger. I'm the Buffalo. You can ask me any question you want from the world of technology, I'd be happy to answer it. I'll see you guys in the next video. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible here on The Quiet Storm. Try a real one.